Hello. Hey, um, I'm Casper, and this is Josh. Hello. He's my friend. And today we're going to talk to you about... Uh, FTM life hacks, because it's the theme, theme for the week. And my first life hack it, um, is, um, 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 if you're having your hair shaved, um, um, make for sure example, you take either a spare shirt or a spare binder, because um, um, the little hairs get stuck to you. And it's really itchy and like really uncomfortable. And on a similar note, if you get your hair shaved quite often and it's like expensive or whatever, which it can be, haircuts are a, 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 are a bit of a nightmare and like also barbers can be scary, that kind of thing. It is possible to buy your own like clippers, which they can, you can get them for like 15 quid. You can shave your own hair or get a friend to do it for you and it just makes things a lot easier. You're done. And... We're not very good at this, we didn't plan very well. Um, the next one is, buy yourself a pronouns badge. I don't actually have one on me now, so I can't give you an example. But, but um, 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 They'll just say something like, I use he, him, or something like that. Yep, and if people get your pronouns wrong, you can point to it. We're near a train station, for context. Um, you can point to it, or, um, or just be like, hey, have you, um, have you seen my badge? Um, if you're too awkward to go, oi, I'm a guy. I hope. Um, another thing, get allies on your side, because if you can just find maybe one or two people that are willing to talk for you, like, it can it can be really daunting to, like, have to correct people. But if you've got friends, will just be like, actually, my mate's a guy. That, <laughs> well, that was attractive. But yeah, it's just really good to have people who are willing to support you and, like, give you a hand. Yeah. Sure. And another one is snapbacks snap back to your friend as you can tell from both of us because um if you've got longish hair just um shove your fringe out and shove the rest under a hat and you look fine like you can't really have a bad hair day with a hat on and um i seem to get red as male more when i've got a snap back on don't especially when you. it's back to front yep. like and i don't know why but yeah and another thing is if you're not out yet, if you're questioning your gender and you're not certain, something that you can do, make a social media account and have a male name and pronouns in the bio and see how you feel about getting referred to by that name and pronouns by people on the internet. And then if you're more comfortable with it, you can slowly start coming out on personal accounts or in real life. And it like it's just an easy segue into like figuring out who you are. So, is that everything? Um, and uh, find some trans find some trans friends on the internet. Like reach out to strangers. Like you could reach out to us like, if you wanted because talking to a trans person really helps. Like, I didn't even know what trans was until I met trans friends and I went, oh, hey, I'm like you. And it made me feel a lot better knowing that I had people like me, people that you can talk to about dysphoria and stuff. It just helps a lot to have people who understand. So yeah, that's some tips that we came up with and it, it, it helps. And I think that's pretty much it. It's yeah. This is going to be a pretty short one because there's not really much that we can say that other people won't or haven't said already. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, there's another train. That was brilliant. So was wonderful. Yeah, that's it. And I'll see you next week and shit. I might be there because I'm great and he loves me. Yep. Um, that was attractive. <laughs> oh. I wonder if my family care that I'm not home yet.